we are so used we are so spoiled rather when virat goes to like a 50 plus score you you assume he's going to get a 100 because that's how he sets up his innings you know when he's 50 plus he'll go a little slowly and then he'll just go completely boom boom everywhere and get to that 100 marks so you're spoiled as a fan he looked very very good again he, at no point do you feel that virat comes in he takes some you know doesn't look his best he always looks so good so again positive <coughs> signs for india Yeah, I mean, he looks to rotate uh, through that uh, middle phase of the game. Uh, he will be uh, around this kind of a strike rate only. If uh, on a good day, it will be maybe ten, twenty uh, higher. Uh, but uh, but generally, he likes to pace his innings in this fashion, and then go around thirty, thirty fifth over and change that gear. Uh, so he was in the zone. I felt uh, short mid wicket was uh, was there. There was no one in, uh, uh, at the in the deep. Uh, so he was just looking to uh, target that area. Uh, extra bounce got him today. Uh, but he looked good uh, the platform was set uh, kl and him also in spite of rohit getting out at that stage uh, if they had stitched that partnership uh, things would have been easier or australian bowlers would have been under more pressure uh, that didn't happen on uh, on on the day uh, but uh, but the runs which he scored is the exact template how he bats and uh, it, i mean when you're talking about form and you know how things are looking you look at that batting order and you'll see that everyone has uh, has been uh, among the runs enough uh, game time enough uh, matches and uh, th- that is something which is important so i think as a batting unit india getting into this uh, big tournament uh, things are looking good you know like you said uh, everyone's looking good shreyas also has grabbed his opportunities after that first run out in the first odi 100 and a 48 again in the middle order so it just it feels like shreyas has set his mind to you know making sure he's in the playing 11 because he's grabbing the opportunities coming to him at the start of this india australia series there were a few players that we discussed and we said that we hoped that they would get going so that it augurs well for team india and i thought most of the players have done that beat shreyas ayer beat uh, ravi chandran ashwin beat jasprit bumrah bowling the spell that he did today so what this bilateral set out for i think team mm-hmm. india has achieved shreyas ayer being a very integral part of what team india's plans are and he needed to get some runs under his belt because they backed him they have the confidence that he can deliver the goods and he delivered it today as well 48 chasing a big total but always trying to keep up with the run rate he did a good job he's a terrific player of spin who can hit boundaries at ease especially of spin and today he showed that skill again taking down tanvir sangha and maxwell whenever the opportunity presented itself but in between all that played the fast bowl as well he take a lot more confidence out of the knock that he played in indo just the way he stamped his authority right from the outset was brilliant to watch but today again he gave a glimpse of what he is good at indians have to make a choice is it ishan kishan is it shreya sayer i still think they will be debating it there another couple of games to go we will only know the answer for that on the 8th of october but for the moment both those players have done really well in the opportunities presented to them and they're given themselves a very good chance to get into that first 11 